with Kimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you, well this is the beginning of my recipe, I'm going to marinate this chicken. And I'm not just going to use any old marinade, I'm going to use this marinade from Perfect Taste. This is their brand new product they just brought out, I think it's their 13th product. This is their Thai salad dressing and marinade with pure olive oil and that's what it looks like. Now you might see, if you see it on, on the shelves or if you get it delivered to you, it might have separated and there's good reason for that. Don't complain about it because Perfect Taste does not use extra chemicals and artificial things. They don't put emulsifiers in there to make sure, you know, that everything looks homogeneous, that it's not, it doesn't separate with the oil and the, and the vinegar or the oil and the rest of the ingredients. So when you see that on the shelves, oftentimes in the grocery store, people don't like that. So big companies tend to put chemicals in there to keep them from doing that, keep them from separating. And I don't want to eat that. I'm happy with this. I'm not mad at it. Someone just needs to explain that to you. So this is what's in here. This is super tasty. Oh, Mom just so tasted good. it. And I'm like, this is a salad dressing, but I want to marinate. I'm going to use it as a marinade tonight. So in this is pure olive oil, nuts, sesame seeds, peanut butter, vinegar, sugar, and chilies. And it's nice and spicy. You get a kick right after you try it. Yes, you do. <laughs> and then what happens is you get a really nice, First of all, I, I tasted the sesame. Mm -hmm. Mom said, is that sesame oil? I said, no, it's sesame seeds. Yeah. It's olive oil. And then you get the heat, and then at the end you get the beautiful peanut, peanut butter, butter taste. It's awesome, and it's gonna be really fabulous good. on really this good. chicken. Now, I'm pretty much gonna go just like this, because I think that's gonna impart plenty of flavor for what I need it to, to do. So I'm just gonna grab myself a bowl. I'm just getting myself a bowl so that when I put this in my bag, I'm gonna put this in the fridge overnight, okay? I want this to marinate overnight. I wanna get the maximum amount of flavor out of it I can. But I don't want this bag, you never know if there's a hole in it, it's gonna leak all in your fridge with the chicken juice and stuff. Just don't do it. Put it in a bowl, put it in a plate, a proper thing that will not leak no matter what. So into my bag goes the chicken. Tonight we're making pierogies. Make sure you check out that recipe. Mom's finishing that up. But tomorrow we're gonna have chicken. One second. Now the perfect taste um, line of spices and sauces and rubs and marinades, they, this is out of Niagara-on-the-Lake, Ontario, Canada. Now this is a really interesting region of Canada and Ontario in particular. It's a very, um, hearty wine region, lots of fruits, orchards and stuff like that from out here. Um, and of course, Ben and Rita James, <laughs> and they, they created Perfect Taste. Yes, it's so good. Yes, and their spice line is mostly South Asian. It's all South Asian, I should say. This happens to be a Thai one, and they have all kinds of other curries and, and rubs and beautiful. Oh, so they have a coat and bake chicken thing. That's what we used on our pork chops the other night. Mm. And that was delicious. So I just put a little bit of extra pepper in here. I don't need any more spice because it's quite spicy. Yes, it and it has all the oil in I need. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to put any other spices in. How awesome is that, right? So I'm going to use probably, I don't know, maybe six tablespoons or so. It looks like it's about a third of the bottle. And I'm just going to close up this bag get um, as much of the air out as I possibly can. And I'm just gonna move this marinade, make sure that that chicken is completely coated. If you looks like you need a little bit more, add a little bit more, no big deal. But this is gonna sit in this beautiful marinade overnight, and you're gonna see us cooking this up tomorrow. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, if I'm gonna roast it or I'm, what I'm gonna do, but you're gonna see it tomorrow. All right, so that goes in my bowl and into the fridge overnight. All right, everybody, I'm back. It, my chicken has been marinating for a day and a half now, and it should be really, really tasty. It's in this Ziploc bag. Remember, we put it in the fridge so it could marinate overnight. Um, and we're just gonna put it into a, a baking dish. Now I'm gonna spray this baking dish with nonstick spray. Wait, one second. Now you can use um, oil of some kind, olive oil if you want to, and just um, grease up the bottom, or you can just spray. Okay, my oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm just gonna put these right into my baking dish. Now, this Thai um, marinade, salad dressing and marinade with pure olive oil, it's from Perfect Taste. So these are Perfect Taste Thai chicken quarters. And they smell awesome. So I can smell them from here. Mmm, you can smell that, um, the uh, peanut mummy. Yum, and that sesame. I'm so hungry, I can't wait to eat tonight. Okay, so we're just organizing those. 
I'm gonna put the rest of this marinade in the bottom, just cause. And that's what it looks like. It doesn't need anything else. It's already seasoned well enough. I have rice going. We're gonna eat that with rice and then maybe another side dish I haven't figured out yet. But into the oven they go. These will probably take just over an hour. Now I'm gonna go in there in about 30 minutes and I'm gonna flip them so that um, I can get the other side cooked nicely and browned up a little bit too. And uh, then we'll finish it off. Might. It's gonna be awesome, I can't wait. I'm hoping that um, I can find another side dish that's gonna be really good with this. What do you think, Mom? Yes, I think it's gonna be All right, good. these bad so. boys have been in here for about 30 minutes and I'm just gonna flip them over. And we're gonna finish them up probably by broiling them at the very end. Get some really nice color on that skin. All right, so this is getting flipped over and returned back to the oven for at least another half an hour. Okay, this has been in for another 30 minutes. I'm just flipping it back over. There's lots of nice pan juices in here too. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to make some kind of gravy after, you could, it'd be beautiful. So I'm flipping it over and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw it under the broiler just for a little bit, just to brown it up on the top a little bit more. But they smell awesome. Back in, about five minutes. All right, this look, chicken looks awesome. It's all beautiful and browned up. Look at this. Ooh wee. I can't wait. I'm gonna put this on a plate. This is for my mom. And we're gonna serve that with roasted veggies. We have some roasted parsnips. Some lovely rice. And that is a meal. There you go. I'd love to just try a little tiny piece of it, Mommy. Oh, yeah, I love that. Just a little bite. Mmm. That's good. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is so flavorful. That marinade's awesome. Mmm, mmm. Delicious. Anyhow, you're gonna like it. We, Mom can't get through here today. It's all good. It's all good. Anyhow, I'm gonna give it to her here. You can eat it off camera. Oh, it does look delicious. Mm. Do you like it? Those parsnips are delicious. Good. So yeah? Good. Mm -hmm. It's really tasty. Really, really flavorful. It's really, really flavorful, but you wouldn't be able to say, ooh, that's sesame, or ooh, that's no. this or that. You can't yeah. even really tell it's the peanut. But yeah. it's just so savory and tasty. Yeah, it just has a wonderful mm. flavor. Perfect taste does it again oh. with their Thai salad dressing and marinade with pure olive oil, and this is what it looks like. And that chicken is good. I can't wait to dig into that. Anyhow, thanks for the bite, Mom. Fantastic. <laughs> Check out mom online at ingraturnertoday.com. I hope you follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly.